Hello everyone, in this Bitcoin technical analysis, I'm going to share with you the levels that I've been sharing in my VIP Discord, uh, the levels that I've traded, the current trade that I'm in, and what I've been trading yesterday, and the possible setups that we could be looking at in the days to come. I'll show you the areas of liquidity where I believe price could potentially go to, and what you should be looking out for. So yesterday, in my Discord, I actually posted this post. I said, interesting one from the big dump yesterday. We had a bounce of yesterday's value area low, 13th, 13th value area high. Yesterday's daily open in the weekly. The stronger the levels of confidence in those value areas and POCs, the most likely the chance of a reaction in that area. I took that long last night based on this and the order flow, but set stops in profit so that I could spend some time with the family. Got stopped in profit. This same area will be key today. This was yesterday at 9.43 South African time. And if you look at this key area that I demarcated with this little rectangle, the red, red rectangle, is right at the $24,000 area. And why is that? Because we had a value area high on a previous day, value area low on the 14th, and it was coinciding with, with this low and also that weekly level. So let's go and have a look at the chart and see what happened yesterday. So from this point onwards, this was the 14th of March, we had some price movement up and down. And as you can see, we were trading between the value area high, value area low. I actually took two shorts yesterday and um, yeah, both very nicely profitable trades for my small DJ account. And I actually recognize that we could have a swing failure pattern of this low on the 14th of March. What happened? We got a swing failure pattern into that area and very, very important that this area would hold because if this area didn't hold and we retested this zone as resistance, we had a very, very quick move down possibly to this POC and there's an MPOC at 22,300. This is inaccurate. Atlas is far more accurate. We could have seen a move all the way down to 21,800. And we still can't discount that because we really do need to see some strength above this current level that we are at right now. We need to see price reclaiming this $25,000 area and moving up so that we can get some more bullish market structure. Because really, look, it's been a great range to trade. Up, up and down, up and down, up and down. A lot of money to be made, and I've made some some good money uh, relative to my small DGN account over the last couple of days. But at the moment, we can see we've just got a rejection at this this point right here. And have a look what I what I said in my Discord this morning, and I'll show you the trade that I took yesterday as well. So if I scroll down. I did an update video for my VIPs in um, in uh, yeah in a private area. So let me just show you that one. So it was a VIP update. I did my daily charting process, value area rotations, coinalize, CBD, and liquidations, and how to trade those. So yesterday I took this trade from the twenty-four thousand and eighty dollar area, and I'll show you why I entered the trade, but um, right here in the general chat this morning you can see what I posted and this is what I had shared in the video this morning for the VIPs shared the in the in this morning's VIP video mentioned to look for the retest of that value area high this morning got it and now got the bounce getting resistance at the POC as predicted as well and there are the pictures and I'll draw this on the chart for you so you can see what is happening that was at 11 47 a.m. this morning um, that I posted this but the update was actually earlier this morning so this is what I was chatting about so if I turn off my session volume profile and draw uh, or pull a fixed range from the open of the session to where we had this price action uh, that's actually the wrong day my apologies let me just pull it from 2 a.m. this morning so 2 a.m. here and up to this point where we were at earlier today. So the value area low was sitting at this point when I was doing the update. 
And if we look at this snapshot in the Discord, that's exactly where we were at at the, at the time. Okay, this is in hindsight, but in the video, we were at this point. And I said, what I was looking for is that if we get a retest of this value area high, that that would be bullish locally. I also said earlier that that weekly level, if we get a retest of this weekly level, that is bullish locally, and that's exactly what happened. So I entered my trade here at 24,088, I think it was. Wrong image. Right here, 24,080. And um, I'm still currently in the trade. I actually took a small take profit at this $24,400 area, because at one stage I thought it might reject, then I put my stops at entry. So what can we what can we expect for the next couple of hours ahead? My take is that we could possibly see some bigger moves. And the bigger moves that I would like to see is a swing failure pattern of this high right here at 25,320-odd. So why is that? Because it's the top of the local range. And if we swing failure pattern that area, it will take out the liquidity above there. Another scenario that we could look at is a swing failure pattern of this low put in literally last night. Because we, we were literally at the middle of the channel. If I draw this fixed range, okay, we're, we're at the value area high. So if we reject here, possibly we could go down to the value area low. So always look at your values, always look where you are at the chart, and, um, and look for the areas of liquidity. So don't enter, enter trades at this point over here. You could have taken a short base on order flow right here, but my better play would be to see that high taken out or this low taken out. Other areas that we could look at is this high, this range high from the, uh, from the 13th of June, from that range, right at that $26,000 area to take that out. Be very, very aware of this level right here. This level is extremely key. And I think it's still going to be key going into the next couple of days. Why is that? If we break this, this area, we are breaking market structure. And I think we'll see a very quick move down to this, this next range at the $22,600 area. So let me turn on my MPOCs. MPOCs are always very, very liquid areas and important areas of liquidity and um, we had an MPOC from yesterday if I turn on my session volume profile you can see that's where the, the MPOC was it's now been tapped this morning so we can actually remove that MPOC but just be aware that this could still act as support and resistance if we get a breakout and we get a retest of this area MPOCs below 22,300 that we could look out for. This session volume profile is not accurate. I get my levels from Atis and um, yeah, very important to get the right level. So by the way, if you're wanting to learn how to use Atis, if you're wanting to learn how to trade this way, how to trade like the institutional traders do it, these techniques originated off the trading floor. So check the links in, in the description. A Discord is free. But uh, for VIP traders, there are certain privileges. And to become a VIP, you need to register with my Bybit link, be a first-time depositor, and trade on that link. So this area is going to be extremely key. So watch for if we come and retest this. If we come through, retest this zone as resistance, go down, that is, that is pivotal. So best would be to try and get into a short if the order flow confirms it at this point or a swing failure pattern here. The other thing that could happen is you come and make a swing failure pattern of all of these lows here and we get a, a bigger move up. So you've got to be aware of those things. Always, always, always come in with a plan. Look at your levels, see where the price could go and make a plan. Have at least two or three scenarios that could play out. So never have a bias to say, oh, we're definitely going to go and break 26,000. Because if you do that, you'll get wrecked. And the mark of a good trader is that you change with the markets. The markets are 
always changing and we have to be able to flip from bullish to bearish to bullish and back again if the market data gives us that. So let's have a look at the order flow real quick before I end of this video. I just wanted to make it a short up update. Right now on the BTC um, USDT pair, you can see we've had a lower low on the CBD oscillator and we've had a higher low on price, which means that is bullish CBD divergence. Guys trying to long the breakout here thinking, or excuse me, trying to short the breakout here, trying to get the, the move down. Bigger players are holding the price up. And as you can see, session delta right now with this move coming up we had a nice increase in delta from 4100 to 5800 and right now we are looking good a little bit of a drop over here it looks like we had some longs taking profit drop in open interest and a drop in um, session delta but now we are steadily increasing and we're seeing open interest increase which leads me to believe that this move will be continued if we get some volume coming in. Let's just look at the volume. 1.5. Yeah, it looks like we could be building volume here. So if we get a sustained volume increase as we go into New York, opening in two hours, then I think we could get a nice breakout. So always look at the volume at those points. But trade safely. I'm still in my long trade. I'll be looking for some short trades. Possibly if I see the open interest change or the order flow change, I'll close that, that short and look for some more trades. If you like this video, remember to smash the like button, subscribe, comment and check out the links for the Discord. I'll see you next time.